680's Richard Southern joins us now. Happy Friday, Richard. And it's such a nice Friday. We had to come outside, right? It's I don't so nice mind out it. Here. I don't mind it. So uh, what do you got for us today? I got a really interesting first story. Okay. Uh, it's something out of Star Trek where they beam. Scientists in the States, Erica, have actually managed to teleport some small particles from what? one. I know. And, you know, we got to get upstairs to the newsroom. Do you actually you want to try this teleportation thing out? How do we do that? I'll show you. Wow. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know how you did it. If only I could make my visa bill disappear like that. Same. Hey, obviously, that's not quite how it works, but this is really cool. Like, scientists are actually making some really exciting pro uh, process here. Uh, they have successfully transferred the most complex data yet from one place to another with no connection. But we're not talking about people like you and me, Erica. Uh, they did quantum particles. We're talking on the very, very small scale. But again, they did teleport them. The technique, they say, could be used uh, big time when it comes to the future quantum internet uh, that uh, scientists are planning. It could help uh, make data very much secure. Now, before we, they go, you know, actually transporting uh, human beings, uh, the tests were only successful 75% of the time. So that means you and I might come up to the newsroom missing an arm or a leg, right. uh, Erica. 75, uh, sorry, 25% of our body. That's not good. <laughs> All right, so we've heard how for years uh, millennials are killing industries, dying casual dining chains, department stores, cable TV, even cereal. Yeah. But now there's something we're finally driving forward. Driving being the operative word here, Eric. It's the, the RV market, motorhomes. They're hot. Uh, the Canadian uh, market uh, on pace to sell some 50,000 motorhomes this year. 2.1 million Canadians now own an RV. And yes, it is the millennials driving mm. them forward. You know why, right? Why? Can't afford a cottage. Too expensive. Makes sense. Yeah, cottages quickly be coming out of reach financially, just like homes in the city. Royal LePage says the average cottage price up 5% over last year, above 411 grand. Of course, that's more in the nicer areas of cottage country. You can get an RV, though, from, you know, anywhere starting around 11,000 for, uh, for a used one. It's not just RVs, Erica. Camping quickly becoming more of an affordable pastime for millennials. 56% of uh, millennials are avid campers. So I guess we're kind of millennials. Is that what we're feeling? I, I would call myself an elder millennial, like Eliza Schlesing, or one of the what, older end of the millennial <laughs> spectrum. But I have a really good friend who also wanted to do that, get an RV instead yeah. of buying a home. So you go on the, you, Europe, the Europe vacation, a couple thousand dollars. These things are a little bit more out of sure. reach than they used to be. All right, uh, busy weekend ahead. No time to shower. You got that no right. worries. A new product has you covered. Thank goodness uh, for me, Erica. <laughs> yes, this is a new futuristic bodysuit with live bacteria embedded in it. They say it could help combat unpleasant smells that you may be emitting. It's called Skin 2, contains healthy probiotic <laughs> material, reduces your body odor, and designers say it could also encourage cell renewal. Uh, the other great thing is they say you don't need to wash it very often. So that means, Erica, you can stop bathing and doing laundry. I gotta pick myself up one of these. But you're not actually clean. You're just, well, I guess, masking the odor. You can go to work you? and nobody, well, you might want to beam out. Well, you might want to beam out of the newsroom if I start doing that. <laughs> yeah. Can you, can you teleport your smell out of your body? Is that a thing that can be done? Oh, my uh, goodness. Very cool. Thank you so much, Richard. See ya. <laughs>